you guys already know what time it is yes it is the machine i machine 2 i guess they did this to match with the uh, machine 2 software or something like that it is not a update all right it's a total it's the same thing but it's it's is they did some major overhauling um they definitely went and gutted out and and did some redoing because this thing can do some of everything now this thing i would say is more so geared towards the actual machine it is actually and then the keyboard i feel like is modeled after the uh at the native instruments keyboard that they that they built which is an awesome keyboard i still have yet to put my hands on one of those i will obtain one of those in the near future but this thing is pretty dope you know i, I was able to go in right quick and create something that i thought was well just creating something i didn't think nothing it was just i just thought it was pretty dope you know what they was doing and then when you go in they give you the option to go into into the store and download everything just <laughs> for for about a buck which is pretty cool so if you go to the expansion store um uh, i had a uh, quite a few um uh, drum kicks that i purchased in the past with um the i machine one uh, I don't know if any of you guys been experiencing any problems with uh, machine, but when I, uh, with my iPhone 6, I've been experiencing, well, actually when I upgraded to the iPhone 6S Plus, all right, I started noticing that the um, the app would not, it would not work. It, it just wouldn't work. I couldn't hear any sound. If I'm, if I was to go to the, to the expansion store, I only heard like, a second of like a preview and then it just wouldn't work no more like man what's, what's really going on so i i uninstalled and reinstalled you know what i mean i, I did all of what i thought i could do the first thing i you know i uh powered down my phone restarted and thought that was the issue but no that wasn't the issue so but anyway um i i guess what they were really working on and focus on is this new update now well it's really not an update like i said because you have to pay Four ninety nine all over again to get this app, but four ninety nine for a dope app like this and what it does. Come on now, you can't beat that. So you have all of these expansions. I've only downloaded a few, as you can see. All the rest of them are are available for download, but I, you know, some of them I like, some of them I don't. So I have uh, a few that I that I downloaded. And so far, this is what I have. Now this is dope because in the keyboard section you all you guys already know in the new updates well the latest updates so far with uh with uh machine all right in their updates especially working on the machine studio you you can now create chords you can create major chords minor chords and all types of you know it's different scales that you can create you got minor one you got minor two three four five seven you know what i mean is is they got different it's different varieties of, of or, or different um yeah different variety of, of of making making our chords or whatever now they introduced it to the ipad or the iphone um it looks totally better on an ipad i must say i didn't i, I didn't download it on my ipad yet but i seen a few of my buddies that had it downloaded on the ipad and uploaded pictures and i thought it was pretty dope like wow that's pretty cool because you know essentially the ipad is a a bigger surface and you can see a lot better and when you go into landscape mode you have the pads off to the right and then some some parameters to the left so you you kind of have like a like a uh like a a work a work area you know what i mean i i've i've and the same thing is in the uh the other version where you where you move your your uh your ipad to a landscape uh you know sideways and it gives you more parameters um inside of my iphone 6 when i do that it doesn't it doesn't do that it's just you know i don't know when you move it around it, it just you know you just you just get what you get with which is cool i'm not tripping but going back to going back to the keyboard section i have um major d is is the scale well actually 
it, it says it's disabled, but um, in the chord section, I have minor one. All right, minor one. But this is what I did before. Before I mess anything up, this is what I did. This is what I came up with so far. All right, so basically what you notice so far up here, right at the top, is where you can play around with the patterns and the length of it. And just like on the machine, you know, the actual, you know, the real deal and on your computer, you have those parameters, just like you see it right here, where you can manipulate the pattern length. Then you have scene two, you know what I mean? You just, you know, click on it. So I, as you can hear, I've started to build something because I took out the arpeggiator right there for the, the second scene. And if I want to duplicate, I can. I just added another one. And you know, you can pretty much do everything you used to do or everything you are used to on the computer. You see the back end where you can play around with the, um, with the no pattern scene like if you don't want a pattern but you know you can actually put it put it there uh, yeah so then um, you can create new patterns I guess if you have this activated you can create new patterns like that I'm not gonna do that it's messing up my beat right here <laughs> uh, you can always double um, you can always change the length of, and this is pretty cool. You know what I mean for 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 <laughs> for a beat maker on your iPhone, creating something solid. See, the 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 idea at first was to get something, an idea, before you get to your your actual setup. But you can create a a full fledged <laughs> project with this just just by how they have things set up here. This is pretty dope. Pretty dope stuff. And then you have all the other regular parameters. Erase, undo, redo. You also have history, which is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You can go back in time. So the big enhancement I thought was the the piano. You know how you can create chords now. Because if you if you guys are like me, my fingers, even on a on the i you know iphone 6s plus which is pretty huge to some people you still i still can't get my fingers to fit like you know what i mean i'm not a keyboard player but i just prefer a midi keyboard because it just feels real you know what i mean and that's what i'm used to and trying to make music on your phone i think it's very dope because i can create something while i'm out and about and I don't have to wait until I'm home and start creating. But the fact of the matter is, I can't really do what I need to on a phone, you know, because it's only one space. And, you know, it's just, it's just not realistic. But it's cool to have that, you know what I'm saying? I make it do what it do for what it is. But when they added the, the, the court, how you can make courts, you know, say you are somebody that don't really know, you know, how to make courts or whatever, um, you can make chords with this thing, which is pretty cool. That's my arpeggiator. You can you can make art. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So that's a chord, and if I play around down here, you know, change the the time signature resolution down here. That's dope. That's dope. That's brilliant. Like the ideas is just flowing just based on what you can do now inside of this new app. So let's go over to the pad. Now, this is something that's pretty cool. Now I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna, you know, put it out there, but if you don't have the three D touch, which is which comes with the, the iPhone six S at the, the S models, then you're kind of missing out on, you know, how you can 
take a full advantage of what you can do because a lot of the apps that are being dropped now are are, are being implemented it will the 3d is being implemented in the design so i could do things like this whole press you know just hold down and i have different parameters that that are come up now we're getting into the step mode this is pretty new all right you can create your beat you know using the, the step the step mode if, if that's what you like doing i don't i really don't care for the, for making beats like this sometimes i might do that just to get a quick idea it is a quick way a really quick way to get your ideas using the step mode you know some other producers like that but and i just prefer making everything from scratch or whatever you know so i'm not gonna spend too much time there um but the other thing i like is say for instance if i need to okay with a hi-hat right i can mute that pan which is pretty dope so say for a hi-hat right if if i need to do things like this wait wait a second okay i have to switch to 3d it, it, now you you guys know that the machine is notorious for things like note repeat you know a lot of people use note repeat you know to to get those 16s 32s you know what i mean instead of actually physically hitting every time but you could do this now because of the the 3d it's only you get you get up to it changes the resolution based on how hard you press That's pretty dope. Pretty, pretty, pretty dope. So. And I believe, I believe it also interacts with if you slide your thumb up, up, up and back, side to side. I said up and back, but up and down. Nah, it doesn't. It and the reason why I said that was because I think like when I move my thumb, I'm still kind of forcing. You know what I mean? I'm still kind of moving the screen in and out. So that's probably why I was thinking that at first. But this is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. This is that's a pretty dope way to to uh, speed through your workflow and get everything kind of you know. <laughs> speedy speedily you know what i mean that's that's pretty cool so um and everything else is pretty much the same tap the tempo you all that was always there uh i think the swing was there the quantize is there and you can quantize on beat which is pretty cool uh i believe that was always there the metrodome i had mine off only i have mine only to record i yeah i have my metrodome only to record like pre-count in and count when I'm recording, but you could turn your metronome on and, and, and you know, just by playing it, it just play out. Just like you can on the um the machine. You know, you can you can enable the the record mode on your machine. Or the metro is what it's called. Not record mode, but metro. You know, the metro is, is the metronome. But on a machine it's just, you know, metro. But yeah, so so uh yeah. That's that's pretty much the same. I did something pretty weird there. Okay. Never mind that. Uh all right. So the effects section, the mixer window is, is pretty much identical to what was already there. You know, nothing nothing really changed. Um you can still get to the effects, you know, one and two. It was only two two sins or two effects um yeah it's pretty much pretty much the same you can play around with the effects here uh let's see what was i doing here i had something yeah
And I believe I have an effect on that one. Yeah. There's an effect. That's what I did to that one. You see? There's an effect on the second one, actually. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm just showing you guys, a f you know, a few little things or whatever. Um, let's see. What else? What else is new? I just think the whole... Yeah, all of this is still the same. Nothing nothing pretty much new here. Yeah, this is still the same. Cool. I, it's, just, it's just the patterns and, and how you can switch up the patterns according to the scenes like you can on an actual on the actual machine so that that I, I i believe that was the big thing and then the um the 3d touch how you can do things quicker you know just by pressing in forcing it in so that's pretty much the gist of it that's that's pretty much all that's all i want to show you guys show you how cool and, or how dope I, I thought that was um these sounds are pretty awesome you got to go through these sounds you know like i say they only let you get it for a dollar I'm not sure if it's for a limited time. I didn't read the notes on that, but um, I don't know. It, it may just be a promotional thing just to get everybody to download it. But um, with with the ability to download everything, all of the all of the plugins. I mean, not not the plugins, but all of the expansions. I mean, you have everything. You can create some amazing stuff. Just you know, with this, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, you can also read about the features. It, it you can read them here. You know, it, it tells you everything, and you can actually press on it, and then it you know kind of break it down, and then you can go through them like this. You know, so that's 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 pretty much it in a nutshell. That's all I want to show you guys. My name is Ella. Remember, music is art. You're the artist. Paint your picture.